Okay, now the calf skin is attached with thumbtacks, which I just pushed through with my thumb. If I was doing this on a wooden bodied uh, banjo, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd have to sort of tap them in with a tack hammer. And uh, it, it's a little extra work, but I, I really like the gourds because the material is like a, a dense cardboard almost. Okay, so now this is going to have to dry for about 24 hours or at least overnight. And you have to resist the urge to tap on that because that kind of messes things up. But you may be able to hear that it's starting to get some resonance even with the the head still wet and that head will really tighten up I mean I've cracked I have never cracked a gourd but I've cracked some other banjo bodies uh, by putting the head on and pulling it too tight so uh, let it sit overnight not too close to a source of heat just in a regular 70 degree room and uh, then we'll come back and look at it uh, in a few well tomorrow and see how the head is doing. Now this excess here, I don't usually trim it off till it's started to dry a little bit. It's a lot easier to cut when it's not quite so floppy. So I'll take a nice sharp razor blade and trim all around the uh, close to the thumbtacks to just get get the excess off of there. And uh, we'll come back and look at it tomorrow. Okay, the calf skin has dried for, I guess it's about 15 hours now, and um, I took, took a uh, razor blade and trimmed along just to get the excess off. And it's uh, tightened up pretty nicely. So, uh, I'm still going to let it sit for a few more hours probably till tomorrow before I put a bridge on it and put any strings on it to tension it because I like to make sure it's totally dry and also it gives the gourd a chance to settle in um, now what's going to happen here I put a, a guitar strap button on the back and the tail piece that I just finished making is going to loop over the strap button like that and the strings are gonna get tied onto the tail piece. So now I still have to make a bridge for it, and I still have to make a nut up here for the strings to ride on. And uh, then in a couple of days it'll be completed and I will do a uh, sound demo of it. One other thing I forgot to tell you about is fitting the friction pegs. Um, this comes with the tapered reamer and this is a peg shaver. It's basically a glorified pencil sharpener. The peg goes in there and you turn it around till you get the size you need and um, that shaves the peg down to the proper size. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll be back with the finished banjo soon.